My name is Kaylee Christensen and I am from Clara City, Minnesota. My artistic background has basically been a lifelong journey for me. Um, I started making art when I was just a little kid, whether it be watercolor painting, drawing my dreams, um, anything like that. It pursued into elementary school and high school. I was taking art classes all throughout. And then I started pursuing art here at Morris my sophomore year. Art gives me a mode of expression, primarily. Um, it is a process where I can use my hands to translate that into ideas that I have, and it gives me a great just outsource of energy, too. The mediums I work in vary across all spectrums of art. I do a little bit of everything, but primarily here at Morris, I've been focused on photography mostly, a little bit of painting, and then screen printing is my main medium that I work with. The way they intercorrelate with each other is a little interesting. So my photography is more abstract in content. Um, it's a little bit more explorative in the themes that I'm working with, whether it be uh, more melancholic, whether it be portrait work that I'm doing. And then my screen printing is much more pictorial uh, in nature. It's more, I guess, concrete, tangible for the consumer or audience to see. What I enjoy about these mediums is the way that I'm able to be really meticulous and articulate with uh, my mediums in screen printing. It's a very tight process, so I'm able to get some of my perfectionist energy out that way. In photography, it's much more loose for me in that way, but it is still a very organized process. So I have been a photographer for a while. I've been doing photography in high school. Uh, I had never had any exposure to film until about a year ago, first semester, I had my take my first film photography class. And that really opened up a lot of doors for me. It was really nice to strip down the photography process to a basis level where I was able to learn everything by hand over again, essentially. So I did a whole year of film photography last year, and then I've been going back into digital this semester with a more creative, abstract edge to it. I feel like film has a certain look to it where it's just so raw and uh, organic in a way and the way you manipulate it is really up to you. Uh, you can just go hands in with the chemical, with the light exposure and able to doctor it that way. And you can also work with transparencies too where you can kind of fool the audience into thinking it was a digital manipulation but it was all done by hand. So that kind of process has been really fun for me and it really did open up a lot of doors last year for me too. Things that inspire my work are uh, tattoo-related themes, so I'm really into the tattoo community, so I will draw a lot of inspiration from that. Artists around me really inspire me too, ones that I follow um, on social media, online, illustrators. I'm also really inspired by nature, plants, an earth tone-based color palette, and just general concepts like that. The way I approach my project is a very organized one, so I have kind of a whole formula that I follow. Usually it starts with um, some reflection, just deciding what I want to put, or what I want to put into the piece, what I want it to be about. I'll usually spend a lot of time doing that. And then it goes into the drawing phase, if I'm doing a screen print in particular. So I will uh, draw the whole thing out, usually layer by layer on uh, a device like an iPad or even just like pen and paper. And then I'll bring it to a computer, translate it into Photoshop, and have all the layers printed out. So it's a very systematic process, especially when I put stencils into screens for screen printing. It's pretty um, formulated at this point, so it makes the process pretty simple. I would say since coming to college and being more of a formal study for me, it's gotten a lot more intentional. Uh, the reasoning behind my work has become a lot more substantial, contemplative, well-developed. The responses that I've had for my artwork have been uh, great for this you know, time in my life. I've been getting a lot of feedback, whether it be from faculty, which is always nice. I really do appreciate review time. Uh, it's usually a pretty stressful thing for students, but I always take it with you know, so much appreciation and gratefulness for that opportunity to hear back from faculty that I really look up to. Also just general public. Uh, I do have an Instagram account where I uh, pose a lot of my artwork on, and I've actually been getting recognized for it just in general in life from people I don't know, which is always really flattering and really surprising too. The best piece of advice I've been given is just, it might sound a little traditional, but just to follow your call and what you're destined to do. Like I was talking about with you know, my freshman year self, my 18, 19 year old self, I really wasn't sure what I was supposed to do or if this was like the right choice um, practically or you know, what was gonna be next for me, but it really is just about following what you are supposed to do. 
And so if that's just to make art and you know, exist that way and reach people that way, then that's uh, great. And that's what I feel like my calling is. So. I love the aspect of giving uh, people a piece of artwork that they can have you know, forever. I have a couple friends that have had their, or my drawings tattooed on them, and that's just the greatest feeling. And just even within my own experience of getting tattooed, I love collecting artwork from different people. It's such a fulfilling experience for me. And to be able to give that to somebody else is just something that really draws me to it. Some advice I'd like to give any you know, young artist, someone maybe that's just going into art for the first time, feels the call to it, is you're going to have a lot of experiences within it. You're going to be filled with self-doubt. You're going to be filled with um, times where you're not really sure what you're doing or where you're going or where your art is taking you. You might have dry spells, but the thing is, is to really persevere through it and to go through it. And you will have these awe-inspiring moments where things will uh, change for you. Doors will open up and everything will feel like it's falling into the right place at the right time. But you just need to like work through those struggles because we all have them. Even outside of the art field, they're always going to be there. But yeah, that would be my biggest piece of advice. I wish I had somebody telling me that all the time, <laughs> even now, so. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cardgill Philanthropy, Mark and Margaret Yakel Julie on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org, Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org.